Okay, I wound another coil today for this simple circuit I've been showing. And it's an air core coil that has no core in it. And it works better with the Johnny Davro um, one magnet no bearing motor setups. And uh, it doesn't have any drag on the magnet. So you just uh, take a coil, empty spool, and you wind up the wire on it. And this is Radio Shack wire. It's, it comes in a three pack of magnet wire. It's expensive for what you get, but it does work. You take the red wire and you wind that up with the green wire. And you just start winding. And when you run out of green wire, you solder the third uh, wa wire, which is the gold colored wire, onto the green wire and you keep right on winding. And then when you run out of the gold wire, you keep on winding the red wire until you wind it all up. Now the red wire is the trigger wire and the green and gold wire are the drive coils. And when the magnet spins around, it induces a voltage in the red wire which turns the little transistor on like a light switch which powers the green coil and that drives the magnet around and of course Mag Maggie likes that it makes her eyes go real good and this is just this simple circuit I've shown before it's running off of a 1AA magnet uh, 1AA battery and a 1 inch neodymium magnet with the two uh, 3 8 uh, neodymiums on the sides. That's that Saturn magnet. And I like this. It's a real simple uh, setup. And I'll stop it now. You can see it's just a it's just a coil of wire. If I put that back, maybe I get it to go again here. Yeah, I'll keep going. And then you can adjust the speed with this rheostat that uh, I'm using instead of a potentiometer on the base. Usually these circuits use a potentiometer um, on the base of the transistor to control things. And my feeling on something that's small like this is go ahead and tell that transistor open up all the way every single time um, and then adjust the input voltage uh, with that. And that seems to work for me pretty good on these small scale things. The other thing is this little diode here, this 914, one in 914, or 914. Um, it's a switching diode that I'm running right back into the positive rail and some of the people put it between the um, emitter and the base on the transistor and then other people take that little diode off the collector and charge another battery with it but uh, this cuts the amp draw in half when you do it this way so my feeling is, is why charge another battery just save the uh, save the energy right up front and do it that way so anyway that's that's my little um, display for tonight. It's this little uh, Saturn magnet and it's just running on a little little plastic dish in front of that uh, hollow, uh, hollow core coil. Nothing fancy there. You just set it up like that. You spin it. Set that next to it. And off it goes. Real simple. And once again, this is the circuit that I'm using. I'll scan it slow so you can see it. It's a very, very simple circuit. I'm not using the uh, iron core anymore. I'm not using the snake egg on this particular one, although it will work. And that's the circuit. Pretty simple.